two is the equilibrium exchange rate is greater is smaller lesser than fixed exchange rate. so let us consider this now so let's say that i have my exchange rate here this is my ey space this is my lm star this is my ia star and my equilibrium is attained here at this p and this y now what is happening is that this is my equilibrium but my fixed exchange rate set by the government is here this is fixed exchange rate so let's take one example let's say that uh, the fixed exchange rate is 1 as 70 and the equilibrium exchange rate is a depreciated one so let's say it is 1 dollar as 75 so if i have to write this here equilibrium exchange rate is 1 by 75 because i'm writing it in terms of rupee so 1 dollar 75 rupees means 1 rupee 1 by 75 dollars One dollar seventy rupees means one rupee one by seventy dollars. So one by seventy is higher than one by seventy five. So that is up and this is below. Fixed exchange rate is an appreciated currency. We think the same thing. Now what will happen? Reverse. I can go ahead and I can buy the currency here. I can spend one dollar. so i can spend 70 rupees buy 1 dollar here so what will an indian do he will spend 70 rupees using those 70 rupees he will buy 1 dollar in india and then using this 1 dollar he will go to us sell this 1 dollar and get rupees 75 in exchange so he spent 70 he is getting 75 in exchange and the gap that is his arbitrage profit right so just think about this if i am going ahead and spending my rupees giving it back to the central bank and asking for dollars in return if all people start doing this if they start giving their currency back and if this asking for dollars in return what is going to happen the supply of rupees is going to decrease nobody is demanding rupees they're giving these rupees in return and they're going ahead and getting dollars so the central bank is getting all the rupees back so it is going to go ahead and decrease the supply of money in your country and decreasing the supply of money would mean the lm star curve will shift backwards at which point till when will it shift backward it will shift backward till the point that all your arbitrage profits are restored there is no arbitrage profit left so what is going to happen the lm star curve keeps shifting backwards till you attain here and your output decreases so you will get a restoration here at this point where the new equilibrium exchange rate fixed exchange rate is equal to the floating exchange rate so this will start increasing here which means appreciation of the currency will take place even in the foreign market if the fixed exchange rate is higher 
So <clears throat> just keep, just write one line here that arbitrage years, arbitrage years will buy INR in foreign market and use INR to buy dollar from the central bank. Money supply will be reduced such that LM curve shifts backwards and profits are eroded. These are the two possibilities that we have seen. So you have to remember case one is if your equilibrium exchange rate is greater than fixed exchange rate. If that is the case, the LM curve shifts to the right. These cases are very important. This will help me define fiscal, monetary and trade policies. So this is case one. And case two is where the equilibrium exchange rate is lesser than the fixed exchange rate. So LM shifts to the back. Now, let's define different cases based on this. So case one. This is fiscal expansion. case, let's say that <clears throat> I am currently here. This is my LM curve. This is my IS curve. And I told you, right, initially, you will not have any arbitrage profits. So basically, whatever is the equilibrium exchange rate, it must be at the same place where the fixed exchange rate was there. You cannot have um, equilibrium and fixed separate in the long run. You have to maintain an equilibrium uh, between the two. So we are saying that this is actually nothing but the fixed exchange rate. And this is the equilibrium also. They cannot be separate initially to begin with. So this is my equilibrium exchange rate. And this is my fixed exchange rate. Now, let's start thinking about the process. It says that there is fiscal expansion. If there is fiscal expansion, we see that the IS curve will shift to the right. So this is IS star star. If the IS curve shifts to the right. Do you notice that this is where my IS and LM are meeting? This is here at E1. If you now go back and see the two cases that we have done, we see that in this case, the moment you reach E1, fixed is this only. Even is just the foreign exchange rate. It is the equilibrium in the market where IS and LM are meeting. Government has fixed this only. So what we see is that the floating exchange rate is greater than the fixed exchange rate. So what we see is which case? It's the case 1. In case 1, my equilibrium exchange rate was greater than the fixed exchange rate. And this is exactly what has happened here. And what was the solution to it? We saw that in these cases, wherever the equilibrium is above the fixed exchange rate, the LM curve shifts to the right. So let's shift that. We know the mechanism behind that. So I will shift my LM curve to the right. 
So initially my economy is moving from point A to point B. But at point B, I am not at fixed exchange rate. I am at floating exchange rate. It's a fixed exchange rate scenario. I can't appreciate or depreciate my currency. So currency has to fall back to this point. And this is a case of case one. So if you refer this in top, it was case one. Where whenever E was greater than the fixed exchange rate, you will increase the money supply and the LM will shift to the right. So we shift this LM to the right. And when that happens, you move to point C. So you move from point A to B and from B to C. And you restore the same exchange rate. But did the output increase? It did. It went from Y to Y dash. So is the fiscal expansion effective? Yes, it is effective. Because the level of output is increasing. Right? So let's write down. When the IS curve shifts to the right, the equilibrium exchange rate increases. This is, I'm not going to explain this, you are going to just write this is synonymous to case one above where E was greater than fixed exchange rate. So the level of money supply increases causing LM curve to shift to the right. The LM curve shifts to the right and the new equilibrium is restored with the higher level of output. Now, <clears throat> If we want to go ahead and understand what happens in the background, you can always write this down yourself that initially when the IS curve shifts to the right, it causes exchange rate to increase. If the exchange rate has to decrease, then the correspondingly supply of money should increase and LM curve should shift to the right. The second thing that we have to do is the monetary policy. 